in the year 1820 hans christian oisted accidentally found that a current carrying conductor sets up a magnetic field around it its meaning is if there is current in a conductor magnetic field can be produced then in the year 1831 just the reverse process or phenomena was found by michael faraday according to michael faraday if there is a magnetic field and in the magnetic field we place a conductor then electric current can be produced or induced in the conductor that means current can produce magnetic field and magnetic field can produce current so these are two re, uh, reverse processes found by these two people then the direction of magnetic field and the direction of induced current are found by various rules or laws some of them are the ampere swimming rule or the maxwell's corkscrew rule or the right hand uh, right hand thumb rule the fleming's uh, left hand rule the fleming's uh, right hand rule so these are the various rules or laws by which the direction of a magnetic field and direction of current can be found based on these two phenomena now one of them is the ampere's swimming rule what is ampere swimming rule according to ampere swimming rule imagine that a person is a swimming along the direction of a conductor and his face is a towards a magnetic compass which is placed just below the conductor means we have a conductor and a person is swimming above it and a compass needle is placed just below the conductor then if his head is along the direction of electric current that means the moment electric current is there in the conductor and his head or he is swimming along the direction of electric current then the compass needle which is placed just below the current carrying conductor takes a deflection towards his left hand indicating the direction of magnetic field so this becomes the north pole so if this is the direction of electric current the person is swimming along the direction of current with his head along the direction of current then the compass needle which is placed just below the conductor takes a deflection towards his left hand this is ampere's swimming rule its objective is to know the direction of magnetic field if the direction of electric current in a conductor is known the ampere's right hand thumb rule or simply the right hand thumb rule the objective behind the right hand thumb rule is to know the direction of a magnetic field due to a straight current carrying conductor for a straight current carrying conductor the magnetic field remains around it in form of concentric circles but we do not know the direction of magnetic field around it magnetic field and the direction of current say this is the direction of current magnetic field lies in a plane perpendicular to the current carrying conductor this rule is to know the direction of magnetic field around it for that purpose imagine to hold a straight current carrying conductor with your right hand with the thumb of the right hand pointing towards the current direction of current then the curl of the four fingers c u r l the curl of four fingers gives the direction of magnetic field around the straight current carrying conductor the same thing is explained here in form of a diagram imagine to hold a straight current carrying conductor with the right hand with the direction of thumb along the direction of electric current so electric current is in the direction of thumb then the curl of four fingers the curl of four fingers give the direction of magnetic field means 
in to out like this so field direction is in to out here also in to out to be more specific here we can say current direction with arrow marks that means it is from this direction to out here also in to out but more specifically say an observer is to the right hand side of this current carrying conductor then for this observer the direction of magnetic field will be like this see the current direction so it will be like this and this is called a anti clockwise direction anti clock so for an observer in the right side the direction of magnetic field is uh, anti clockwise but if the observer is to the left side to the left side then the direction of magnetic field is like this like this means it is clockwise field direction around around is like this means the magnetic field from this side if one observes is uh, in the clockwise uh, direction so the right hand thumb rule is to know the direction of magnetic field due to a straight current carrying conductor the maxwell's cork screw rule the objective of this rule is to know the direction of magnetic field if the direction of current is a known imagine to hold a cork screw with your right hand rotate the head of the cork screw such that the tip advances into the direction of current that means when you rotate the screw head the tip will be in the direction of current then the direction of rotation of the uh, screw head that gives the direction of magnetic field means if uh, this is the screw head the cork screw head if this is rotated in a certain manner such that the tip moves in the direction of current then the direction of rotation of the screw head gives the direction of magnetic field means if this is the current direction this will be the direction of a magnetic field 